by toroidal transformer. Tested over Unity Free Energy. Today, we dive into the mysterious bi toroidal transformer, unlocking the science behind its unique geometry and powerful potential. Dear friends, please remember, my goal here is not to reproduce Thane's method. I experiment in my way using 120 volts and 60 hertz. This experiment uses only the transformer itself. This video contains high voltage demonstrations that can cause severe injury or death. Do not attempt to replicate unless you are professionally trained and equipped. Safety is not optional, it's vital. In next video, this type of silicon steel will be arranged alternately. A lot of large silicon steel panels have been processed. These types of silicon steel cores are not available in the market, so I bought the sheets and processed them at CNC machine. This video shows how the bi-toroidal transformer is assembled. Why do I check this? It is to compare the length of each coil because the length of the coil is not the same. Therefore, the induced output voltage depends on the length of the coil. Measuring the resistance of each coil. Secondary coil A resistance is 5.6 ohms. Middle coil primary coil resistance is 3.1 ohms. Secondary coil B resistance is 5.2 ohms. Tests show that coil A is longer than coil B, and of course the middle coil is the shortest. Therefore, we can expect the output voltage of coil A to be higher than that of coil B. In addition, the sum of the voltages induced in the two secondary coils will be higher than the input voltage of the primary coil. Electric power is on now. The input voltage is 121 volt. The secondary coil A voltage is 90.27 volt. The secondary coil B voltage is 89.21 volt. My prediction was right. The longer coil, the higher voltage. This is a very important experiment. When the coil B is short-circuited, the electromagnetic flux coming to the coil B is cut off and flows only to a coil A, increasing the voltage of the coil A. The same thing happens in the opposite case. However, due to the less turns of coil B, a little lower voltage is induced than coil A. We will look at whether this transformer is an over-unity device or generates free energy. This is the display of the power meter I built. This will measure the power consumption of the devices.
This is a 220 volt, 300 watts heating lamp power test using 120 volts. Now two power meters and two heating lamps were connected. Two heating lamps are on now. The coil B output is 52.9 volts and 44.6 watts. As you can see, the output voltage crashed from 89.21 volts to 52.9 volts on load. The coil A output is 49.8 volts and 41 watts. This coil voltage also crashed on load. This is a diagram that illustrates the characteristics of this transformer very well. Unlike conventional transformers, this transformer has a bypath, which allows electromagnetic force to flow while avoiding places with high resistance, just as water flows. This phenomenon is caused by the back electromotive force. This is a setup for the input power measurement, and the power meter is connected to the primary coil. The power cord is connected. The voltages of the secondary coils have increased a little because the power meter has been removed from them. The input power is 118.3 volt and 101.1 watts. Also power factor is 67%. As shown in the chart, the output power was consistently lower than the input, with the overall efficiency measured at approximately 85%. In this configuration, the bi-toroidal transformer demonstrated no advantage over conventional transformers. On the contrary, it was significantly heavier and more costly to produce, with no performance benefits to justify these drawbacks. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe and like my channel.